First off, Contavious Street and Julian Taylor. No, I haven't talked about them this offseason. I have lots of things to say about them. Two interesting draft picks, big, stocky defensive tackles who will be competing for playing time with Javon Kinlaw and DJ Jones. I've never been impressed with Contavious Street. To me, that was one of John Lynch and Kyle Shanahan and Robert Sala and the whole group's worst picks. It was a Trent Balky pick. Guy had a torn ACL. I can't think of many examples, maybe you guys could point one out, of a player who's coming off a torn ACL and needed to redshirt his entire rookie year just to rehab a torn ACL and then came back and had a successful career. Balky kept trying to make that happen. Now Lynch tried to make it happen with Contavious Street. I mean, he has four career tackles. I think he has four career tackles. I don't see it coming. I don't see it happening. Julian Taylor, on the other hand, I really like. I feel like they're both similar guys. One was a seventh-round pick or a sixth-round pick, Taylor, and the other was a fourth-round pick. So Street's supposed to be the better player. But I've never seen anything interesting or, or remarkable about Street. Taylor, I felt, from the first minute I saw him in a preseason game against the Cowboys in 20, what was it, 18, was fantastic. Uh, plays extremely hard. Was the hardest playing guy on the line. Um, and very powerful. Uh, remember, Eric Armstead was hurt. He missed time during training camp of 2018. Julian Taylor replaced him at starting defensive end and was fantastic. Armstead eventually got his job back and built up his value and now is a very rich person. But for that brief moment in 2018, I thought Julian Taylor was just flat out better than Eric Armstead. And since then, Taylor hasn't gotten many opportunities and he's been hurt. But this year, I'm curious to see What's going to happen replacing Buckner? Are the Niners going to replace him with one guy or two? Because in the base defense, the wide nine, those defensive tackles have to spend so much energy stopping the run and taking on double teams. that it, I think it takes a little bit of wind out of their sails when it comes to the pass rush. The defensive ends are moved far outside, so both defensive tackle, the nose tackle, and the three technique are constantly being double teamed by guards and tackles, and it's tiring just to hold your ground. So Buckner could play almost every snap. Do the Niners want to do that with Kinlaw or do they want to preserve his energy for the pass rush? That would make sense. So that means there's an opportunity for someone else to play in the base defense as a run defender. And I think Julian Taylor would be perfect. I think a smart thing to do, rather than just throw Javon Kinlaw in the proverbial deep end and see if he sinks or swims with a full starter's workload, give him one thing to do, rush the passer, and let Julian Taylor do all the grunt hard work of taking on double teams and being a run stuffer. I'd like to see a platoon there. And I, I'm not saying it's going to be Taylor. It could be street street was drafted higher. Uh, theoretically has more potential, but until street actually makes an impact and stays healthy for a while, I'm giving the edge to Taylor. I think Taylor could have a role on this team, which is significant because all the positional battles are on offense. The defense is basically set uh, with, with the exception of the right cornerback spot and the three technique spot.